hey guys uh, welcome back to my another video on this video I'm gonna talk about the, the validator on the reactive forms as you guys can know that I already built a two videos so which I show about the reactive forms how I could add a reactive form form group form array dynamic array which is also a form array of course uh, it's already shown in that two video if you guys are interested uh, please uh, check that video I will put that video link below on this video but on this video is I'm only gonna be focusing about the uh, reactive forms uh, validator okay so as you can guys can see I have the couple of the forms here which is created which I created on a reactive form so let's focus on this name part because I'm gonna add a validator on this name one first okay so I can show you the uh, how my uh, HTML look like here so this is my HTML here right and in a, this is my submit button which is right here so in HTML I have here the name and name is binding with a form control a name which is a reactive form uh, in reactive reactive input where we need to bind with a form control name and this is form is binding with a form group called customer group and here in the first in the first here I'm printing the JSON the value that is a binding with my customer form and this is the customer form invalid if it's invalid then it's going to show me a true and false the boolean value here and i'm also using this invalid on my submit button right here if it's invalid then disable my submit button okay so now i'm going to use the uh, the validators on this input field and i'm going to use the uh, bootstrap here what is it here the bootstrap validations class to uh, work with my form here okay so I'm going to use this bootstrap CSS class or you could also use your own CSS class or you could also use this bootstrap. It's up to you. So now this is, oh, not this one, sorry. Where is it? Where it go? Uh, okay, so here is a form here. So this is my HTML, which I show you guys already. So now I'm going to show you my TypeScript file. So this is my TypeScript file here. So TypeScript file just focusing on the name here. Uh, in the name here, uh, it's a form control It's created as a form control this is my initial name so i'll remove it as i can also put this as array i saw that many people are using at this array so the index of the first array is going to be init value and the second one is validator i already use a couple of validator called minland here but what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove this one and i will add a new validator so this is the first index of this is going to be uh the call the the initial value we could also use a form control with the initial value like this and in second here i could use a validator okay and this validator is coming from the angular forms and in validator if i check to go to definition here so in the invalidator class there are a couple multiple uh static class which i could use it and this static class has the uh validator Okay, this class class has a validators class here. Okay, so I will use that one here. So in this first one, the first validator, what I'm going to use is a require fill. Okay, so I will tell that the name is required. So now if I go back to the my forms in here, the name is required. If I put something here, the submit button will enable it. But if I didn't put anything, the submit button will disable it. So the validator is already start working. But we want to print something here, the CSS too, so such as not using the CSS or using the bootstrap CSS exactly like this. Uh, the name is required, something like that. So I'm I'm grabbing this. Uh, this div and that div is this one invalid feedback so I will copy this invalid feedback and I will go to my HTML page here uh, right here so I will put in a in the bottom of this input field which is called please choose a username so instead of this one the name is required so I will put the name is required here so now if I go it here it doesn't show up as as it is because in bootstrap it, it needs something called uh, is invalid class need to be bind with the input field if this class if this input field is invalid then as you guys can see the name is required it show up but we want to put this as a dynamic value so put the dynamic value i will use our ng class in ng class now i will get the instance of this input field or the template variable of this input field to get the template variable we could also create a getter and if you don't want to create a getter then we could use a directly like get 
using this customer form dot get and here I could put a name here so if name has a error then show me then not show me add is invalid class okay so if if I need to put here the question mark okay so now if it has a error then show me the invalid so now if I go back of course it's invalid as will show up if I put it it will disable it if I show you then it will show up if I put it it's gonna disable it so if but the issue is if I refresh at the first time it's still gonna show up but we don't want to see it at the time of reloading as first time we want to remove it to do that there is another function called touch okay there's a function called touch so basically how the toss work now I'm only using the toss is so if I click it on this one and if I click on somewhere else the toss function will work because the touch is if I toss on this one if I click it then the validator is giving as a true so that's how the toss work so let's there's another function called dirty so how the dirty work is if I reload this if I click it here if I click it somewhere it doesn't even work but if I initially type it then it will work right if initially type it then that will work but that how the dot is work so we need to use both of these functions with our error functions here okay so how we can use is we could use and here and we could use this exactly i'm going to make this bigger uh we could use this exactly the same one here if it's if not instead of here if it's touch or if it's dirty and if it's error then show me invalid now let's see what happened here so if I reload the first time it doesn't even show up but if I click it and if I remove it the name is required to show up and if I type it out it doesn't show up because there is no error but if I click clear it up then it's gonna show me the name is required because it's already a dirty that's why it's working so name is working name is required is working perfectly fine with our bootstrap css class but let's assume we will add another validator here okay so let's go to the here so if i want to another validator here so instead of this require i will put as array here if you want to add a multiple validator on this one so there are more validator we could add from validator class such as require we already use it there's an email to value email max length min length pattern and min max and there is more min max that's all it does i guess yeah that's all it does but now let's use this uh, max length so if it's the maximum length of this uh, field should be oh uh, you know what let me ch uh, think about hold on okay L let me use the minimum length so the minimum length we need for this uh, input field is five we must need a five of the character we need otherwise it doesn't even uh, it will still show me the error so if I go here if it, it's using its error so if I reload this one and if i click it something here and if i type it the name is required still show up because there is only two characters three four five now if it's five character then it will disappear but the, this information is not right we need to show that uh, the uh, five character is required right five letter is required for this field so to do that we need to use a dynamically populated this message as well so put a dynamically message here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this parenthesis here and name is required is good I'll put it here I'll just need to copy that so if there is an error right if there is this error is show up then show me the name is error otherwise don't show me anything so instead of this error this both error I could use there's something called has error if it has error and inside here i could use the what kind of error i'm using it so if i use a has error is required right if it has error is required then use name is required so now it's going to only show this error when the uh, the name is required but if i put something it doesn't show up me that but still this is invalid because the reason why is we need a five character so three four five six oh one two three four five 
now it showed me at uh, this one right the enable it but i need to populate it the another message here as well and i need to make this as disable uh, not uh, the error as well so there are two need to work two need to be two work need to be done uh so now i will make this big so now if it has required is okay so this validation already does this work so now i will use another validator here called n and i will use another validator called if the get name instead of getting a name has required i will use something called min length because this is this is what i use uh, for here uh, and he make sure that uh, the min length here in the l is the upper case but here you, you need to use a lower case here okay so if this min length has a error then show me is invalid here as well show me is invalid otherwise don't show me invalid okay so it, it's like uh, it's not nested but uh, it's like uh, there is a one value one condition and i will change the another condition with the r that's all i does and now here this is a one validation but i can use another validation here called min length and here five letter required okay so it so if I put something here and remove it, the name is required will show up. But if I put it here, now it says the five character is required. So if I put three, four, five, oh, only four, sorry, five, then it will disappear. And this my submit button will disappear too. So that's how we could add a multiple validator on, on, on component file like this, multiple validator here as well as we could also use, of course, our own CSS class or anything here. Or you could also use ng if we are using our own class but i'm using a bootstrap so i use a ng class here so this is how it works with the or multiple validator as as well so so now let me add one this one too if it's everything is good then it shows me a looks good right it give me a looks good and it will give me a check marks check marks here so now if it's good here like this if it's, everything is okay so now if I go here, so there is another class called is valid. So if there is no ear, then is valid, right? If it's valid like this. So if I use this valid on here, this will not even work. So I need to use a valid in proper places to work. now is valid but if i put the letters here something like this 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 now is valid but the issue is when it's reload at first time it show me a value so why, where i add the valid is if there is no issue on mainland then is valid will show up so now i need to add a valid on so now i need to change the another function so i need to change the another function here and, and if it's touch and if it's dirty right if it's touch and if it's or if it's dirty and and if it touch or if it's dirty and instead of this has error there's a function call is is invalid if it's in, invalid is false of course if it's invalid is false then show me is valid otherwise don't show me okay so if i use this now it will disappear at first time but if i click something five letter is required if i put a five letter now it will give me a checkbox right if i click it then same if I click, then so this is how we could change our condition to use a valid function as well so if it's valid, then it's valid and it's valid show up. But if I leave it and it will show me invalid. Okay, guys. So this is how we can chain our validator. Oops. This is how we can chain our validator and we could use our CSS bootstrap classes on the top with the angular uh, reactive forms. Uh, I think I'm going to do that's all for this video. And if you guys have many more, any other questions, please let me know. Uh, comment it below. Uh, I'll try my best to, to uh, give you guys uh, answers and please do not forget to uh, like or subscribe my channel 
and thank you very much for watching guys bye for now